Hello there. Uh, my name's Spencer Ellingham and I'm the Regional Vice President at Conducive for the EMEA region. Um, I wanted to talk to you today about Underlead. Um, I know a lot of you are already using this product and, and have been customers of ours for many years and we're very grateful for that. Um, we've got a new version of Underleet 11 which should be available at roughly the same time as this video gets posted. Um, and we've got some, some very good uh, new features in there which um, I'm going to go into more detail in the subsequent follow-up video. So this is really more of an introduction to Underleet for those who um, haven't come across it before. Um, I know from the title that it sounds like one of those utilities that you can download off of the web and uh, what it does is it searches through what Windows sees as free space, looking for files that have been deleted that haven't yet been overwritten and can still be recovered. And of course the product does do that but it does a whole lot more besides. So the, the, the name simply Underleet perhaps doesn't really tell you by itself the true potential of the software. So by way of an introduction, let's go and have a look at the Conducive website um, and see what it says, see how it, uh, how it gets introduced. So if we browse to conducive.com slash Underleet, here we go. So uh, here's the note about the, the new Underleet that's uh, coming, Underleet 11. Should be available any day now, actually, which is good. So it says here, help, I just deleted a file from the network drive. <laughs> that's a support call any IT professional knows all too well. <laughs> yeah, I, I wasn't always the RVP. I've been the technical director for uh, <laughs> some years. So yes, I, I've heard that, uh, not just at Conducive, but at other places as well. Um, Recovering that file from backup can be a support pain, even if the user knows the exact name and location of the file and precisely when it was deleted. Without that information, it can be a nightmare. How often have users gone to admins and said, yeah, I've deleted a file. Um, yeah, it was. I think it was called this and I'm not sure what folder it was in. Uh, anyway, the Underleet software eliminates the pain and the nightmare. Um, and that support call might never happen because lost files can be recovered without having to go to the backup media. And users, if you want them to have this ability, can easily restore accidentally deleted and overwritten files themselves without any assistance from the IT department. Now, you might think as an administrator, oh, I don't know if I like the idea of users recovering their own files without me being involved. But guess what? They're already doing that. They have the Windows Recycle Bin sitting on their desktop. And actually, that's how I like to think of the Underleet software. It's very much like the Windows Recycle Bin on steroids. <laughs> so if a user's working away on his laptop or workstation and accidentally deletes a file, he can recover it from Windows Recycle Bin. All is good. He doesn't have to bother you, interrupt what you're doing as an administrator, and they can get on with what their job is, and you can get on with what your job is. Everyone's happy. But when it comes to network shares, if you've got a file server, for example, that's sharing folders on a network and users keep their files in there and they delete something from there, well, guess what? It doesn't go into the Windows Recycle Bin either on their machine or on the server. It actually gets deleted. And that's the point where you have the pain and the hassle of going to the backup to try and recover the file or um, a snapshot. And I'm not saying for one moment that the Underleet software is a replacement for backups or snapshots. Those are still very, very valid things to do. And I would urge you always to have a very good backup at the very least as part of your disaster recovery, of course. Um, but as a first line of defense, as a quick, convenient go-to solution to recover files that have been accidentally deleted, Underleet is the quickest solution. It's the most convenient solution. Um, it goes on to say, satisfied users all over the globe use Underleet, uh, professional and server. So it, it covers laptops, workstations, and we have a version for Windows Server machines as well, which of course works 
if you're running Windows machines in the cloud or if you're running uh, virtualized uh, machines, absolutely fine. Um, so they use it as a first line of defense before the backup because Underleap provides true continuous data protection for easy recovery of individual files. What happens, for example, if a file was created and deleted since the last backup or snapshot was taken? Then you're screwed. You, you can't get it back <laughs> um, unless you, you uh, start running some sort of recovery software. Um, so, yeah, whereas snapshots and backups are ideal to recover entire lost data sets, Underleap is tailored for quick recovery of single files or folders that get lost or, or overwritten. Um, so, yeah, I, I hope this, this is useful as a, as a brief introduction. As I say, in the next few videos, we'll, we'll go into uh, a few more of the features in a bit more depth. You'll see it's a lot more than just um, simple file recovery. Um, and if it's if it's something that looks interesting, it's not a terribly expensive piece of software as well. Um, and we also offer volume license discounts. So if you are working for an office or, or an organization where you might want to buy a number of licenses to cover a number of machines, um, yeah, get in touch with us and get some uh, uh, quotes for a volume discount so we can get give you the best price. Um, in fact, if we go to um, if we go to the contact us page, there we go. There's all of the details for your particular region. We've got uh, North American contact details, my region, Europe, Middle East and Africa there, uh, Australia, Japan, Latin America. Um, we've got ladies and gents whose job it is to make sure that you can buy this software at the best possible price for you, whether you're buying a volume discount license or if you require a government or educational discount these guys are there to help you so please get in touch um, I hope you uh, enjoy this series of videos and find them useful please feel free to put comments down below I love to see feedback from customers and people who are yet to be customers alike and I will always do my very best to respond so please feel free to use the comments below we do love to get that feedback Thank you very much. Um, I hope this has been useful and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.